Good morning again, everyone. Welcome back to the KSR YouTube channel and another day on building mullet. We'll get her done, slowly but surely. Actually, there's a ton of ton of progress happening, even though it doesn't look like it. And I know there's been a little complaints of, well, how many videos are you gonna do on mullet? Well enough, until it's done, because that's what we do. We finish things and we finish them right. And then we take them to the track or the dyno and then we go fast. So anyways, still working on a bunch of the wiring today. Travis has got the firewall to ECU side of our connector done, which I showed you a little bit in the other video. And we've connected or shortened the EGT wires for that side. We're waiting on our panel to come back from powder coat that's gonna go there, but we can at least test to make sure all the EGTs are working. The dash is now wired. Uh, we've got some other things coming together. We've got a bump button here that's gonna, so you can bump the engine from outside without coming inside the car. So that way, like checking valves, uh, bumping it to hook the starter bolts up, not the starter, the converter bolts up, all those little things there. So Travis is making a new wire now that's going to be the main power into the Leash Electronics relay board. Once we do that, we're gonna power everything up, make sure all of our sensors are working, make sure we're reading the EGTs, probably crank it up here again in just a minute. And then we'll be on to some more things. So stay tuned and let's see if all of our wiring works out on the first shot. All right, well, let's see if things work. We haven't turned this on yet or anything. I do have the tune, I do have the tune open because I've made a bunch of changes to like program the EGTs and program a bunch of other inputs and outputs that we are getting ready to install. But the main check is to see if we have things like, uh, you know, make sure all of the engine sensors work since we're you know, we installed that connector. You ready? Let's do it. All right. You got the ignition on. Oh, dash is lighting up. Oh, oh, shoot. Oh, that's a good sign. All right, so let's see. Oh, there it is. Oh, we're making 30 pounds of boost. That's a little weird. Hmm. I wonder how we got 4.1 miles on it. Oh, shoot. All right, well, we got water temp. That's a good sign. Oil pressure, fuel pressure. Nitrous, what? We're not using nitrous. What's going on there? All right, anyways, let's get back over here. We are gonna see if we can connect to this. Yeah, you can see I made a bunch of changes. Send to ECU. As many changes as I made will probably have to cycle. Yeah, I figured that was coming. All right, let's log into the screen. Yep, the AF left O2 is unplugged. Got good battery voltage. Safety chute is firing because the G meter is going bonkers. I am wondering, why is the map? We got a problem with the map. So the map sensors, I bet, did you get those flipped maybe? The other red. Mm -hmm. We got some kind of problem with the map. Mm -hmm. But everything else looks pretty good. Let's see, not much. I'm gonna make a new table. Okay, that's good. Let's see. Let's get rid of this. Let's see if our EGTs work since I've got all those done. EGT1. Ooh, 
Oops. Okay. Yes, I would like to save it. Now we will scroll over. EGT no data. Hmm. All right, now you guys. Yeah. The box is lit up. The box is lit up? Yep. All right, so am I. Hmm. Alrighty. Well, we've got some things to check. See if we can figure out why we've got some things going wrong. And we will be back in a minute. Box off or no? Yeah, we're going to need the... I think there's a serial number on the back of it. Alrighty, everybody, so I figured out why the EGTs are not working, I believe. I forgot to plug the serial number in. I did a whole bunch of programming at the house one night. ID 0700. 0700. Was it, hold on, what does it say about anything else? Uh, I mean, there's a six-digit number. Six-digit? All right, well, let's try that. Can serial 700. Let's see if we got number one can. Now it says disabled. Okay, well, that's saying something different. Maybe let's cycle the power on and off. Columbus Junction, Iowa. There it is. Sound good. There's our word first EGT. All right, so I need to go through and program all of those. So that was just tuner error. But we do have to figure out what's going on with the map. And then I've got a whole bunch of other sensors to check through. Dome pressure and coolant pressure. A whole bunch of other things that are now programmed. G-meter is not hooked up, so there's no problem there. Converter temp's not hooked up. Trans oil temp's not hooked up. But All right, well, I'm going to do some programming to get all of the ones that are in the engine harness on this screen. And then we will go from there.
All right, everybody, we figured out the map sensor. It was just the ground had come loose from the connector right at the sensor itself. So that was an easy fix. So we also had a little issue with the temperature side of the fuel pressure and oil pressure sensors because the sensors we're using for fuel pressure and oil pressure also have a temperature circuit in them. And we had a wire flipped around there, so the temperature wasn't working. But all that's fixed. The EGTs are all programmed now that I've got the serial connector in. Uh, we should be ready to test the engine harness connection from the firewall to the ECU. See if it runs again. I have done a bunch of other programming changes, including changing the injector style driver around, like with the doing the secondary injector set. So hopefully it cranks. I had to go grab kids from school and Travis was also working on plumbing, not plumbing, wiring, what, all of the front sensors, transmission sensors. Yep. Trans, wheel speed, front shock. So we should have a lot more data visible as well as a good test to see if the engine still runs. Let's see, I got plenty of, ooh, I need some juice in the computer. Yeah, I need that. Careful. All right, so, doot, doot, doot. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we got here. Yep, some changes there, some changes there. Figured that was coming. All right. I don't think I programmed the tooth count on the uh, the input or the front wheel speed input. But let's see, battery 14.2, all the EGTs, 77, 78. Uh, let's see, we got the O2 sensor unplugged. Fuel temp race, engine oil temp. I might have to adjust the offset on that one a little bit. It's reading about 10 degrees higher than the fuel temp, which it shouldn't be because it hasn't run. So those should all be reading should all be reading around 77 78 you see coolant temp is 76 uh, this is like whenever you're adding multiple sensors that kind of monitor the same thing verify that they're all reading about the same so you can see with the barrow circuit is the barometric pressure sensor in the ecu itself so offset your map sensors until they're reading really close so we're 101.6 ish and this is 101.8 1.8 and a half, almost 0.9. So I'll go back and trim those a little bit more. Uh, let's see. You said we had shock sensors. Oh, my computer is low. Let's look at right front wheel speed. I know the little blinky light's working again, so that's good. You haven't done a G meter yet? No. Mm -hmm. Just making sure. So, we haven't finished the steering wheel circuit. Ambient air temp. All right, I know I'm looking right at it here. Right front wheel speed, there we go. And then right front shock. I don't think I've actually programmed any of the actual math side of those channels. Hold on just a minute, baby. Can you wait just a minute? What do you need to tell me? When are we gonna go? In just a little bit when Miss Crystal gets here. Do you see Miss Crystal here yet? Yeah. Okay, go back in the office for just a minute. Thank you. Daddy. Yeah? Are we gonna leave your truck here? Yes. We're gonna so, leave Daddy's truck here. So you're gonna like get it on Monday? Yep. Yeah. Wheel speed zero miles per hour. Shock is on six. Oh, we got wheel speed. Shock travel six. I'm not sure how I've got that programmed. It's the rotor. It's got a floating, a floating rotor. So it doesn't warp when it expands. Yeah. 
Alrighty, well, let's see. Let's see if this sucker still cranks any of this stuff. It looks like it's all off the header. The other side's off the header. How about, did you wire up any of the, no, you didn't do the fan or water pump control. So that's, that's not wired up for the automatic control there. All right, well, let's see if, <clears throat> let's see if, uh, before you crank it, do you have shock data up? Yeah, it's showing six. Hold on, I'm under it. Go ahead. Yeah, it's changing. Okay. I want to reprogram those to actually be by inch of travel instead of percentage travel, but we'll do that once we get a little bit closer to getting it out of here. Whatever it is at six is like near full droop. CJ, bro, watch your leg. You're going to lose some hair. Fire in a hole. Are you putting it on the trans brake? No. Oh, okay. Then I'm good. <laughs> My foot was already underneath it last time. <laughs> All right, let's see it. We do have fuel pressure or fuel in it, right? Yeah. All right. Here goes done. Hopefully. Is it going to work? that's exciting I mean I know that might seem silly to you guys like but we still screw up like we just try to be real methodical with what we're doing and like I said we had a couple of small issues we had to deal with but everything is all good oh you know what I didn't look at transmission stuff let's see if we got transmission goodies so trans brake uh, ground is not hooked up yet I mean everything else I don't have a steering wheel to try the trans brake I mean I could pop it over here but all right let's see if we got transmission sensors Let's see. I don't care about this. So. Transmission. So you should have cool. Uh, we got. Temp. Yeah, we got line pressure, line pressure. Converter temp. Converter pressure. Uh, see, trans oil temp. We also have converter charge. Oops. Converter charge. We also have converter temp. And then transmission line pressure. That's all four of them, right? All right, I see. Okay, trans oil temp. Converter temp. Looks like it needs a little offset too, because I know it's a little warmer than 60. Same deal, just need to change the offsets until everything matches when it's dead cold. And let's see, trans line pressure, I need to do a little adjustment there. Trans oil temp, I bet you I don't have that programmed yet. Trans oil temp, configure, custom. Nope, it needs to be a GM LSX. Now, let's go back. Hey, there it is. It's You're about, stressing me out. About dead on. What, because I'm forgetting things? Yeah. <laughs> I kind of am the type of person that, oh, you know, if you do get presented with an issue, you just figure out what's wrong with it. I mean, just about everything can be fixed that's messed up, aside from, you know, something major happening. We haven't had a major screw up in a while. <laughs> that was not smart. Here comes the shop dog. Oh goodness. There's the shop dog. He's ferocious if anybody ever tries to sneak in here, let me tell you. 
Yep, ferocious. But I think that's gonna wrap up this video. Pretty exciting, all that's done. Transmission stuff all being done. Like literally we've gotta wire the back part of the car, wire the lights, wire the shifter and the parachute actuators. I mean, by the end of next week, we should be, uh, should be really, really, really close. So appreciate everybody watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Check your subscription if you think you're subscribed, since YouTube's kind of doing some screwy stuff. But we're going to get out of here for the weekend. See you guys next week.